Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another product review, this time on a floodlight from Marcluza. Now I have done previous reviews on their products, all been really nice, pretty decent quality for what you're going to pay for them. Now this is a large floodlight, but it is battery operated. Has 3000 lumens, which is really nice. Waterproof, of course. Everything is rechargeable again. It is battery operated. I want to thank them for sending me this to review. So let's wait no further. Let's open it up and see what's in. Now, because this is so big, I'm going to have to try to do it without disturbing my setup here on my desk. As you can see, it's a pretty big unit just by the size of my hand. It does come with a user manual and it's pretty basic tells you there are other products that uh, they sell and manufacture and we'll wait to get to the unit here here is a Arclusa barcode to lead to uh, their website in case you want to let them know about what you think of their products. Then you have a wall charger here. All right. So now that we've done everything with the relatively large box here, now this is quite honestly the biggest floodlight that's portable that I own or that I've ever tested let alone so just to let you know sheer size of this thing it does have some weight on it and my understanding here is that it has um, eight uh, 18 650s so it's going to give you some good run times pretty basic on the setup here uh, it does have a cover that, that covers the charging port This is an indicator there. Let's see the battery level. Pretty simple, really easy to read. Let you know it does turn on the light when you do check your battery level. Now this is tripod mountable. So all you members that are photographers, this is gonna be really good for you. Now there's no magnet in this, so it's strictly stand with caution, but it's pretty much balances real well plastic red trim here this is a aluminum front plate help keep it cool um, I did some preliminary testings on this this barely even got lukewarm so it literally does real well at keeping cool even on the highest output so we'll show you the back up close here let's see all those tells you a little bit about the light itself there on the back solid construction this is again aluminum as well as the back plate has heat sinking here there is a protective plastic piece here and take that off go ahead and show you the LED up close here this is running the Cobb LED really popular these days a complete even flood really nice rough textured on the finish and like I said it is pretty heavy even if you're carrying it. Now the bottom plate here feels like it's coated with some type of a plastic coating or might be a paint. Still solid. Really nice. Easy to stand this up pretty much wherever you need 
3,000 lumens of pure flood light, that is, you're going to have it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make this simple. We're just going to go through the different light outputs. You got the back button, of course, again. Turn that on. Now, this is the lowest setting, so I'm going to try to bring it up. Look at how bright that is on the lowest setting. Crazy bright. Wow. Okay, so now we're going to go up to the next level. And that is the brightest setting. So I'll hold it up above. Look at how bright that is. <laughs> you could see the shadow. Insane amount of light that's coming out of this thing. Full beam. You can see how even it is. This is the type of light that you want if you're doing photography, painting, working on your house, doing a project outside, working on your vehicle, a ton of things. If you're doing some type of repair work or upgrade on your house, this is going to provide an extreme amount of light. And you're going to get some really good run times on this as well. Been very impressed with these uh, Arclusa. Now, if you want to go to the higher outputs, you can actually press and hold the button to ramp it up. And I just ramped it up a little bit there. And then you can ramp it up some more until it goes all the way to the brightest level. So you can slowly go from the lowest level all the way up. Okay, so now that you're on the highest level, you can go ahead and lower it down to the lowest level. Now it's going to blink a couple times, let you know that it's going to slowly start to ramp. Press and hold that button, and it'll slowly start to dim. And that's the lowest bottom level of the previous light output. So it's kind of nice, you can kind of dial in between the two levels that are uh, automatically done when you're clicking it on and clicking it off. So, you're, so what I mean is basically if you want, say like this level here is just not bright enough so you need a little bit more light output but you don't need the super high output on the flood, you can just go ahead and ramp this up a little bit and now you have a little bit brighter than it was before but not the brightest. So really nice to know that feature now that is feature that is on their smaller ones so it's nice to see that they incorporated it on this model as well so not too much to tell as far as the ui is concerned all right well you know it's always nice to have the ramping feature on that always a two thumbs up for me on that nice to be able to have you know set levels that are automatic but you can also dial in in between depending on what you choose on the light output. So that's nice. So let's wait no further. Let's go ahead and take this indoors and do some settings there. See how it does in the darkness. Okay, we're going to do some night shots here with the big floodlight here from Arclusa. Let's get the lights off. We are in here in the darkness with the Arclusa. We're going to go ahead and turn it on here. Got it on the table here. Nice battery level. Easily can be read from a distance as well. Kind of hold it up high. Give you a scale of how well this does. And we're not even on the highest setting. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and turn it on the highest setting here. Here we go. Wow. A lot of light coming out of this. Holding it above my head. Crazy amount of light. Mm -hmm. 
very nice even being no hot spot at all and we'll go ahead and take it over to the other side of the room here and we'll go ahead and grab it here put it on top here there's no magnets on this so be careful where you place it on the highest setting very large amount of light this kicks out probably one of the brightest cob lights I have yet to test until now so we'll go ahead and turn it back off and we're going to start on the medium setting again and then there's medium not quite low in my opinion so now we're going to go ahead and go to the next level one more time so you can see the difference and it slowly brightens up just a huge amount of light lights up this whole room with these all right hope you enjoyed those night shots okay welcome back i hope you enjoyed that little setup demonstration i did here on this floodlight now right offhand this is an extremely bright floodlight complete smooth beam across the whole area whatever you shine it on it's going to be completely lit up from top to bottom side to side now i am very impressed with the light output the ramping feature is an absolute plus especially for people like me that don't want that particular light level you're not stuck with it you can pick and choose your own light output once you get it turned on either way solid build really nice quality product i don't see any issues with this it's really rugged it is waterproof so you can have it out there in the weather and not worry about any damages to the light now i just want to thank arclusa for sending me this floodlight kit to review now if this is something you're interested in getting i will leave a link down in the description to both their ebay and their website well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these type of products, floodlights that is, to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.